Hello today I am going to show you how to cre create a dynamic material that randomly changes color when the object is hit. For that purpose I am using a basic cylinder shape but you can use any other object you want. And change the object name to cylinder target. Now open the content drawer and create a new folder materials. and create a new, new material in this folder m underscore base color now open this material file and for base color we will search for vector parameter node and change the parameter name to base color and I will change the default color to white you can choose any other color you want now click apply now go to cylinder target and click on this button and create a blueprint of this cylinder target and name it as BP underscore cylinder target and save it into this first person blueprints Open the event graph and for begin play search dynamic material instance and search for the material we created base color and from return value set search material node material static mesh component now create an event event hit and create this return value and promote it to variable and search for set vector value and change the parameter name to base color as we have changed there in the material base color now to create random colors we have to create a node make color and provide random float values to these RGBs for that we will use random float don't worry about this mess of blueprint I will organize them later on random float and random float we have created this random float and set it to this pin now it should change color when the object is hit so we can see it's changing color but there is one issue even when the player is hit or any other object will hit apart other than the bullets or projectiles it will change the color so to fix that issue we have to change some blueprints here in others search for cast to first person pro projectile and change that to this and this now it should now it should not change yeah you can see now it's not changing the color when the person or any other object apart from the projectile is here 
Now for the bonus part, I will show you how to reset back its color after it's hit. For that, we will grab this return value from dynamic material instance and promote it to variable and then search for set vector parameter and don't forget to change its parameter name to base color otherwise it won't work now we will add a delay of two seconds Now it should reset back its color after 2 seconds. Yes, as you can see, resetting its back color to black as the black has been set here as the default value can change color it's to white now it should be white after resetting yes as you can see resetting its color back after two seconds so that's it for the video for any other tutorial suggestion kindly leave in the comments